Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Vendi and in this video we'll see how to install Docker on Ubuntu. In fact, the similar steps are available for a different Linux distribution. You can use it for Debian or different OS. Now Ubuntu is one of the famous Linux distributions so we are going for it and one of my personal favorite. In fact, there are, if you want to install Docker on Windows or Mac, you have to go for the, the desktop version of Docker. Uh, of course, we will see that on the website. So what we will do is we'll go to the official website of Docker first. So let's jump back here and search for docker.com. And this is the website. In fact, I was supposed to search on the address bar, but I don't know what, what happened here. So I will just go to this website and this is the official website of Docker. And you can see, in fact, in the first video, we have talked about it. When you are working on your application, you should not be thinking about the environment. You should focus more on the application. And that's why it says debug your app, not your environment. Uh, that's fun, right? So in fact, Docker has multiple components. One of the most important component of Docker is Docker Hub, where you can get the existing images. In fact, there are so many images available, you can just use them. And we'll see how to use the existing images. Now, if you are using Windows or Mac, you have to go for the Docker desktop. Uh, for Linux, it directly supports Docker because Docker was built on Linux and uh, they have Linux containers. Uh, thankfully, in Windows 10 also, we can use the containers for Windows, which is Windows containers. Unfortunately for Mac, uh, it works on Mac, okay? But the only thing is Mac will have a virtual layer for the Linux. So indirectly, your Docker is working on Linux, which is working on Mac. Uh, so that's why I prefer to work on Linux than Mac when it comes to Docker. But yes, it's, it also works on Mac. Uh, so let it, it say get started. So we, do we get a Docker download here? Doesn't matter. Now, how do you download the Docker on Linux? So in fact, before installation, I, I want to show you one more thing. What if you want to experiment with Docker without, uh, without installing on your machine? Maybe sometime your machine is slow or maybe you want to just experiment. You don't want to install it. So one way of doing that is by using uh, a tool called play with docker so if you go to this website which is labs.playwithdocker.com in fact if, if you search on google uh, it will be the first link so they have an option of playing with docker online so they have this entire tool you can just go there and you can type the uh, docker commands it will work uh, initially when you go to this website they will ask you to log in i have already logged in that's why it is not showing login option so i will click on start and it will create a playground for me or the, the sandbox environment for me. Now what is happening here is the thing is uh, due to the lockdown, uh, the internet is getting very busy. Everyone is working from home. Uh, that's why the internet is not that perfect in this area. So I will just, that was, there are some issues. So once you go, once you go here, you just have to click on the new instance and it, it will give you a set of four hours. And of course you can experiment there. This is the, what you say a prompt and this is where you have to type the commands now one of the command i will check here is docker version if this is working so that's docker version when i say enter as you can see we got the version number so they are using the latest version which is 19.3 so 19 is actually docker is going with a version similar to what ubuntu does uh, they go with the major version as the year so this is 2019 and uh, they are going for this the minor version is of the month and they have the patch. I guess they are not using the latest version for the uh, for the online. I guess it is 8, which is the latest one. So we'll see that once we install Docker on the local machine. So yes, you can experiment with this. In fact, everything, almost everything works here. They are by default providing you with the Alpine Linux. So you can you can experiment with it. But then we don't want to use it here, right? We want to use it on our on the on the physical machine, on this machine. So let me just close this and of course you can do some experiment let me just close this and let's go back to this website but i want to install docker on on linux right so for that i will go to this website which is the first one uh, the docker.com so it is docs.docker.com and they have the installation steps in fact they also have some documentation if you want to read uh, so which version of ubuntu i'm using so i'm using this one 19.10 which is the eon version it also works on bionic so if you're using bionic now that's fine okay so how do you follow the steps in fact there are multiple ways of installing ubuntu uh, installing docker on ubuntu uh, there's a way of installing it with the help of repository there's a way of installing it with from the package with that yeah, from the package or the easiest way is using a script which we are going to use in this video 
But before that, I want to show you some more things. Uh, what what happens is, you know, some of, sometimes in your machine you might be having Docker pre-installed. Uh, maybe for if you have you have done some projects before and then it has installed Docker on your machine, you don't even know about it. Uh, so make sure that you remove the older version so that it will not conflict with the new version. And this is a command to do that. So let me show you show the command here. So this is a command. Just just copy this. So go back to your terminal, and this is where you will. Uh, paste that command. So I will say paste. Oh, before that, I just want to check, do we have Docker installed on this machine? So the way you can check that is by saying docker hyphen hyphen version. And if you can see in this machine, I don't have Docker installed. It was actually installed before, but for the video, I have uninstalled it. Uh, so there's no Docker as of now. I want to, just for the experiment's sake, I will just do that and enter. So it, it, it is saying there is no uh, Docker engine or Docker installed on this machine. So of course, nothing is there now once you know that there's no earlier version it's time to install the fresh one as i mentioned you can use uh, the latest you can use the repository way you can use the package way but we will be using the script so we'll just go down and this is a script we have to use in fact uh, there are there are two ways of doing it uh, there are basically there are two uh, scripts one will give you the stable one and one will give you the uh, the test testing version of docker so if you use the get.docker.com, it will give you the latest one, uh, a stable one. And if you say test.docker.com, it will give you the testing version of Docker. So what this script gives you, so if you go to this get, so if you go to this website, which is get.docker.com, it will give you a script. You just have to run this script on your machine. Now you'll be thinking, hey, I just have to copy this and paste on terminal. Not exactly, this is a script. Uh, so you can use shell script to, to run this. How do you get this script on your machine? It's very, very easy. If you just go down, there is a uh, steps for that. So you can see, you, you can use curl to get that script. So I will just copy this, go back to the terminal and say paste. Now this will get, this will give you a script in your machine. So if you get, if you can just go to your home folder, you will get a file, which is get uh, docker.sh which is the same script which you have here I don't know if you can see the script doesn't matter so it will check for your system is it uh, Ubuntu then which version of Ubuntu you're using and they also have in fact they will download the repository from this website so this is where this is where it will go and it will download the repository for you uh, so it will search for Linux and in Linux you have different OS available so it will go to Ubuntu that's what it is mentioned in the script, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, in Dest, it depends upon which one you're using. So I'm using Eon. Uh, so it will check for the release and it will install Docker. But then, I know, we are waiting We are waiting from a long time to install. Let's directly get to it. Now, once you got this script, it's time to install Docker. So you just have to run this script, which is sh get docker.sh, say paste. It might take some time, depending upon your system speed. Uh, network speed uh, and luckily I don't have that network speed today so it will it might take some time okay that's done uh, so you can see we have docker on this machine so you can see it has it has done a lot of work for us uh, this script actually so it is downloading the Ubuntu version if you remember this is the same website we went we went for and it has also uh, yeah, that's the version which we are using so we are using 19.3.8 this is the latest one not the uh, the not the version which is there with the play with uh, docker so we are using the patch version of 8 which is 2019 march patch 8 and what else that's the server version which is docker engine in fact we'll, we'll talk about this in detail later what is uh, what is client what is server and what happened what is daemon and how it fetches the data from the server but as of now you can see we got the docker installed and now it's time uh, in fact it is, it is telling you one more important thing which is so it says if you would like to use docker as a non-root user which most of the time we do uh, you should now consider adding your user to a docker group with something like by passing this command uh, not a compulsion, but if you are a non-root non user, most of the time we are, and if you want to have the privileges, just let's do this. So it's a sudo user mode ag docker and your username. Username for this machine, uh, the account is Naveen, and done.
I am a user, so now I have the permission to run the container. Anyway, I can. Do, uh, I'm also the admin, so <laughs> doesn't matter actually. So, uh, so we got a Docker on this machine, and how do we test it? It's very easy. You can just simply say Docker version, and your job is done. You can see we've got Docker version there. So what happens? You know, the the moment you install some software, we or the programming language, let's say if you install Java or Python, the first thing we do is we uh, run the first command, which is hello world, right? If without hello world, you are not sure what is happening. So uh, let's run the hello world. In fact, Docker provides you an image of hello world. So what I will do is I will say Docker run hello world. And let's see if this works. Uh, so it is doing something. Uh, so it says unable to find the image hello world latest locally. Or oh, is, it, is, is it the error? I'm not exactly so just wait for some time it is taking some time to download uh, okay that's done so we got the hello world and if you can see here we got a message which is hello world uh, sorry hello from docker so this is the message which you got from the internet but what what is what happened behind the scene and that is what is mentioned here so as I mentioned uh, when you when you want to use docker docker will have a container right so now you got a container in your machine. Do you want to check which container so I'm talking about? So a PSA. So you can see we got a container. So container is container has stopped because it has done its work. Uh, but then if you say if you see here, let me just stretch this a bit. If you can see we were we had a container here, which is hello world image, uh, and this was a command to use it. This was the container ID. So this was a container which ran and it has given you the output. But then in this machine, when you install Docker for the first time, you will not be having this container by uh, container with you, not in a local copy. And that was the error here. It says unable to find the image hello world in this local machine. So if you don't have this image on this machine, it will search the image on the repository. Now, which repository? So we have this amazing repository here, which is hub.docker.com. So if you can just go here, this is the repository where you will get most of the containers. So they have a lot of containers available here. Uh, yes, I mean, not just for Hello World, some meaningful containers as well, like, like for Node, for Ubuntu, for Redis, I mean, just name it. So if you can search for Hello World container, so that's the container which we have used. You can see it is very popular. It has more than 10 million uh, downloads. Uh, so this is a container which we have used actually so you can see it's a doc of docker official images so basically there are multiple images some are official some are in fact you can also create your own image and you can deploy it uh, so whenever it is official it, it will say official image so this is what we got right so when we ran the docker hello world we got this message so what happens is uh, when you hit the when you search for the command uh, when you say run hello world it will search on your machine if it is not available it will go to the docker hub and it will download the image and then once you got the image it will create a container so you can see it says uh, docker daemon created a new container from the image and with one image you can create multiple containers and not just one image you can have multiple images from the repository and you can create containers of it okay so every image will have different containers and once you got the image from the uh, from the repository your server will send the output to the client so in the same machine you will be having the docker client so your terminal is actually talking to the docker client docker client is talking to the docker daemon which is a server behind the scene in the same machine and then which is talking indirectly to the server to the doc docker hub and that's how you got the output right this is the docker hub which we are using here but what if you are running this the same command the second time now when you say run the second time you can see we, we have not got that message which is unable to find the container or unable to find unable to find the hello world image because it is already there in the machine now right so it will simply run that container and it will be quick for the second time and third time for the first time it will take some time to download so that's how you install docker on ubuntu and we'll also see how to install docker on, uh, on windows later so that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for the videos. Bye-bye.